Hey there, LibGDX fans. Look, Nine Patch is a modern marvel, along with the Statue of Liberty and Netflix. You can stretch it, you can squash it, it still looks good. And it takes minimal texture space. Great. But LibGDX's implementation has been left wanting. Real Nine Patches have multiple stretch areas. LibGDX can only have one. That means I have to go through a lot of hullabaloo if I want a simple scroll bar with little notches in the middle. Another thing, I was looking at our competitors over at Unity. Their nine patches let you tile the contents instead of stretching. Wow, that's useful. It was time for LibGDX to step it up a notch. That's why I named my project 10Patch. It's like a nine patch, but one better. Check it out. Tiling, multiple stretch areas, Tinting. I even have an animated version you can play with. It's super easy to create these as well. I have fully integrated 10 patch into Skin Composer. It's trivial to use 10 patch for your buttons, sliders, or anything you can put a drawable in. This is how you get started. In your favorite image editor, draw your graphic with some stretch areas in mind. These are rows and columns of pixels that you want to stretch or tile while the other areas remain static. This is just like your typical 9-patch, but I want the inside to tile. This one requires two stretch areas so the graphic will stay in the middle. You can probably find some good artwork out there that you can adapt for these purposes as well. Thanks Bamboo Bandit! Export your images to PNG. Let's start Skin Composer. Go to Project, Drawables. Click Add. Navigate to your Images folder and select your image. Press the 10 patch button on the drawable. This might look like the 9 patch editor I made before, but it's slightly better. Okay, navigation. You can pan the view by holding right click on the editor and moving the mouse. You can zoom with the slider here, or use the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you get lost out in space, Press the recenter button. We have several modes. Stretch lets us demarcate the stretch regions. Content is the area where you expect your content like labels and such to appear. You set the horizontal areas first, then you can switch to vertical. You just need to press these buttons on the top left to do that. To switch quickly, right click once. To switch between content and stretch, right click twice quickly. So to draw a stretch region, left click and drag. If you're having trouble lining up, you can activate the grid. But honestly, I don't really ever need that. If you made a mistake, just mouse over one of the edges, click and drag. It's important to only cover the stretchable areas of the image. Now I'm going to set the next stretch region. Just click and drag. If you don't want a stretch region anymore, just decrease the width of the region to zero and it goes away. If you want to combine two regions, just stretch one of them all the way out like this. So I'm going to finish up the horizontal and then I'll do the vertical. Let's look at the preview. When you mouse over it, you get the nifty little handles. I'm going to stretch it out like this. Notice that the little icon I have is off-center. That's because I didn't set the stretch region to the equal length of the other one. It's all about ratios here. 
If I have two regions and they're equal size, the stretch will be distributed 50-50. If I have more or less here, expect that to affect the outcome down in the preview. I'm going to do the content area now. Just know that you can only have one content area. Sorry, it would just be too wildly complex to have multiple content areas in libgdx. I'd usually have some padding here so that my text doesn't get smushed on the edges. That's not really the point of this graphic, but yeah. So you've made your regions. Fantastic. Let's play around with the options. This graphic looks terrible stretched, of course. Let's activate Tile. Doesn't that look a little otherworldly? Very far out, my friends. We can tint it as well, just like other drawables. The min width and height options are important for progress bars, for example. If I have a horizontal progress bar, I'll set the min width to 0 and leave min height as negative 1 for the default value. That way it won't look screwed up when the value is set to 0. You have a few options up top. If you want to reset everything, hit clear. If you want to export the image as a 9 patch, click the save to file button. Note that this will not save your settings for tiling or tint. If you want to import stretch regions from an existing 9 patch, click Load Patches. Note that these options are not necessary for the regular workflow, but more for convenience. If you're satisfied with what you've done, make sure to name your drawable as something unique and click OK below. This is now a drawable like any other drawable you would use in your skin. Now export your skin. I'm in my sample project now. In order to use 10 patches in your project, you only need to make a couple additions to your project's build.gradle. I use Jitpack to make my releases so you need to add that as a Maven resource. Then, in your core project, add my library. Check the links below for the latest version. But that's it. Because of libgdx's JSON serializer, you don't need to add anything else. It's all in the skin file and it just works. I'm going to add a table with the brick background. I'm going to add my sample widgets, a button, a progress bar, a scroll pane. Everything is going to stretch so we can really see the effect. Let's run it. Hmm. 
Looks great, don't it? Animated 10 patches are a little more complicated, so for now, you'd have to do those in code. Expect an update in the future to make that process much easier. For now, you can check out the 10 patch demo project in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to check your corners. Bye bye. That progress bar, that 10 patch, this skin composer. That's it.